In this video, we're going to explain uh, how carbon dioxide and oxygen is transported uh, throughout the body. Uh, this represents the heart. The heart pumps the oxygenated blood to the lungs. It comes to the lungs, takes oxygen, and gives away the carbon dioxide. The oxygenated blood goes back to the heart. Heart pumps it to the cells. Cells get the oxygen in exchange give carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is delivered back to the heart and heart pumps it to the lungs and so forth. So that exchange continuously goes around and occurs. So this is carbon dioxide goes to the cells. Cells come here, give this carbon dioxide to the lung, takes oxygen, brings it to the cells, gives the oxygen and takes the carbon dioxide. Now, once this uh, uh, red blood cell gets to the peripheral tissue, it has the hemoglobin is bound to the oxygen. We know that each red blood cells have approximately 270 million uh, hemoglobin, and each hemoglobin carries four oxygen, so you could imagine how many oxygens per um, single uh, red blood cells. And we know that there are about 20 to 30 trillion red blood cells um, an adult uh, human body has. And their job is to deliver oxygen and collect carbon dioxide uh, to over 37 trillion cells that a typical human body may have. Uh, once the uh, uh, cell, uh, red blood cells arrive to the peripheral tissues, uh, the oxygen will dissociate from the hemoglobin, so hemoglobin is going to separate and oxygen is going to separate. Uh, oxygen from the red blood cell will diffuse into the capillary and from the capillary it will diffuse into interstitial fluid and from the interstitial fluid the oxygen will enter the cell. Uh, inside the cell uh, there are a number of mitochondria. Uh, a typical cell may contain uh, between 1,000 to 2,000 mitochondria, and those mitochondria will consume oxygen. So as you see inside this mitochondria, this is a larger picture, the oxygen is consumed or enters mitochondria, and organic molecule enters mitochondria. Mitochondria will metabolize that organic molecule. Basically, Krebs cycle and electron transport system occurs inside the mitochondria. Consequently, uh, the mitochondria will produce energy in the form of ATP and also produce carbon dioxide. Uh, once uh, carbon dioxide is produced in the cell, carbon dioxide will diffuse from the cell into the capillary. Uh, and uh, from the capillary, it will diffuse into the cell. Now, as you see, uh, uh, about 7% of carbon dioxide will stay dissolved in the plasma. 93% of the pl uh, carbon dioxide will enter the red blood cell. So once the carbon dioxide is produced by the cell, carbon dioxide will be diffused from the cell into the interstitial fluid. From interstitial fluid, it will enter the capillary. Inside the capillary, about 7% will stay dissolved in the plasma and about 93% will enter the red blood cells. Uh, once that carbon dioxide is inside the red blood cells, 70% uh, of that carbon dioxide will combine with water. So 70% will combine with water and that 70% will make uh, carbonic acid. So this is carbonic acid made by combination of water and carbon dioxide. About 23% of that carbon dioxide will combine with hemoglobin and that's a combination of carbon dioxide and hemoglobin that you see over here. Now, carbonic acid is a very weak acid. Uh, because it's a weak acid, uh, it will quickly dissociate into bicarbonate and hydrogen ions. So this carbonic acid will just split into bicarbonate and carbonic uh, hydrogen ions. And uh, the enzyme that facilitate this reactions are carbonic anhydrase. Once a hydrogen ion is produced, 
uh, hemoglobin acting as a buffer quickly binds to this hydrogen ion and that's a combination of hemoglobin and uh, hydrogen ion what happens to the uh, carbonic uh, bicarbonate bicarbonate leaves the cell in exchange for chlorine so chlorine ion enters the cell and bicarbonate leaves through the chloride uh, shaft now this cell will transport and deliver this carbon dioxide all the way back to the uh, lung so here is the red blood cell that just had the bicarbonate uh, entered the reactions occur now this red blood cell will go to heart and then from the heart it will go to the lungs once inside uh, in the lungs the reaction is going to reverse itself bicarbonate will enter red blood cells chlorine ion will leave red blood cell once inside the cell this bicarbonate will combine with hydrogen ion and convert into carbonic acid carbonic acid will dissociate into water and carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide will diffuse out of the red blood cell into the capillary and from the capillary into the alveoli remember there was some carbon dioxide bound to hemoglobin that will also dissociate carbon dioxide will dissociate separate hemoglobin will separate this carbon dioxide will also diffuse and leave the cell uh, go from the capillary diffuse into the alveoli obviously you need those free hemoglobins now to bind to the oxygen so at this point oxygen from the capillaries diffuse into the uh, from the alveoli sorry uh, the oxygen from the alveoli so this represents the alveoli from the alveoli diffuses into the capillaries and once the oxygen is inside the capillaries oxygen will bind with the hemoglobin and then this oxygenated will be transported to the cell so here you see two exchanges one exchange occurs here that's internal respiration between the cell or interstitial fluid and capillaries one exchange is occurring here between the alveoli and capillaries that's external respiration